Hello everybody, I apologize for not doing any recent videos lately as I was occupied with some work. Anyways, here's a quick and simple project which you can build in about a half an hour and will cost you less than 5 bucks. So, basically a lab stirrer is a device used in most laboratories to stir objects for long periods of time um, and uh, the speed is of course controlled with a, with a variable resistor. For this I'll be using a variable output adapter. To start off, I'm going to use some pieces of wood. And these are rectangular pieces which I cut uh, in, for the dimension of a box. Then I glued this uh, computer CPU fan in the middle using some hot glue. After this I secured a neodymium magnet on it. And this was also hot glued into place. The cover is made up of a sheet of plywood and it's secured with two nails, one over here and one over here. One of the nails is removed to give easy access to the CPU fan to services, service it and take a look at it. As you can see the second nail is now hammered into place and as a result the cover is also fixed. For the stirrer I'll be using three small ball magnets was uh, I don't have a stir and uh, these are an alternative. Also they provide an added bonus as they are magnetic so they increase the bond between the main magnet and the stir. For demonstration I'll be using a glass of water and I'm going to put the magnets in this and then I'm going to center them so that they don't collide with the wall of the glass. To power this machine I'm going to use a small variable output adapter AC to DC force and uh, I've connected it with some allocator clips. I'll plug in the adapter. As you can see the stir is starting to move, starting to stir the water and uh, it's variable output so that means I can control the speed as well. This is medium speed. And uh, this is the second one. I'm not going to go on the highest one as I risk colliding with the walls of the glass and potentially breaking it. Also, to take out the wires for the thumb. I drill two small holes at the side, one small hole at the side, and uh, from there I can take out the wires. So that's it folks, this is how to make your own lobster, don't cost you much, and it's a fun and easy project to build. Goodbye.